Today we'll be taking a look at the control system I built for my 350 scale NX-01's custom lighting setup. It's called SCOMS, named and fashioned after Mike Okuda's design of the computer screen seen in Star Trek Enterprise. The model doesn't need SCOMS to operate, but hooking it up unlocks a lot of features, so let's go ahead and get connected. The first thing you probably notice is this graph up here, which is charting the animations being rendered by the model in real time. Bassard collectors, strobes, and navs. The orange line represents a single element of a Bassard collector, but let's watch all three channels. There we go. By default, this main slider acts like a dimmer, adjusting the brightness of the current lighting channel, which is really useful when you're taking pictures or video. Now in this shot down in the corner, the Bassard collectors are too bright for the camera, so we can just back them down until they look about right, say somewhere in there. I would say the windows are also a little bright. We can back them off. I'd like to see a little more deflector. Turn that up. There we go. Every one of the 310 LEDs in the model is under software control split up into 24 independent channels, which can be selected by clicking in the ship map. The ship also has uh, four emulation modes. Right now, we're in CGI standard, most commonly seen in the show. We can switch to CGI fast, where everything is sped up by 25%. Strobes, navs, all of it. One of these two timings are used in every shot of the show. We also have Tenet Controls mode, which I coded in using their YouTube video as a reference. And finally, Trekworks mode, which emulates Boyd's NX-01 with the Monsters in Motion, Bassard Collectors, and Tenet Controls flasher board for the strobes and navs. Uh, moving along, this button triggers a startup sequence, complete with music and sound effects. The startup animations are stacked on top of the per-channel brightness settings, so the adjustments we made earlier apply to the sequence. Let's have a look. That's pretty much the whole sequence. So we hit the space bar here to get out of our startup mode. There's also a small library of soundtrack music we can play as well. Let's list that. Uh, and something a little more tense. There we go. I don't know about you, but it sounds to me like a good time to go to work. I obviously couldn't make the ship stretch out and whoosh off into the distance, so I settled for just making it go dark. Let's here. There we go. Now, aside from adjusting brightness, we also have precise real-time control over all of the animations with what I call the envelope editor. Let's say we want to change the behavior of the strobes. Let me zero everything else out so it's easier to see what's going on strobes, put them back, and let's get into the envelope. There we go. Now let's say we want a, a slower fade. We can do that just by dragging this slider here, and just like that, the strobes fade out slower on the model. You can track what's going on up here. We can make them stay hot longer. We can make them brighter overall. We can make them take longer to fade in. We can make the whole thing look more organic by smoothing it out some. We can change the rate anywhere from one cycle taking 16 seconds all the way down to just pretty much faster than you can see. <laughs> so let's revert that anyway, and we'll get out of here. Reset everything. Oh man. Let's bring that back down. Those back down. Uh, you get the idea. Okay, also there are a few features which don't really control any settings, but just exist because I thought they'd be cool. For example, when selecting channels, there's an alternate diagram view, which represents how things are wired inside of the actual model. Let me cycle through the channels so you can have a look. 
runs a little fast. Slow that down. There we go. Uh, another thing we can do is overlay uh, actual pictures of the insides so you can see what we're talking about here with these references. There we go. There's the inside of the model. Uh, I realize that's kind of hard to see any detail, but we can also zoom in and get a better look. Check out all the features in here. Now, there are also quite a few other features which I haven't haven't gone into, but uh, I keep adding new things as I think of them. So, if you have any ideas for new SCOMS functionality, please let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.